Hey guys, it's Seb from Squid Sauce here. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make automation clips with third party plugins. Now, the issue with third party plugins is usually that um, to make an automation clip, you want the automation clip to have the exact same setting as your uh, synthesizer, for example. You know, imag imagine you have made this awesome sound and let's say it has a cutoff frequency around 50% you know you want to have your automation clip starting at that position you want to have it starting at 50% because that's what makes your sound from there on you want to you know make the effects and tweak them so maybe it sounds a little bit confusing right now but when I show you you'll you probably understand what I'm talking about so um, just just a quick caveat. I'm here at the laptop. I'm in Asia. Um, I'm not at home normally. I live in the Netherlands. Uh, I have to work with a very old laptop with a very poor quality speaker, very poor quality um, microphone. So the audio you're perceiving right now is really, to say it nicely, it's it's just shitty. Um, Please forgive me, this is just all I have right now, I have to work with that, just focus on the content and see if you can get some value out of it. So, um, Also, in the description below, I have a free sample pack, a free hard style sample pack, you can download it simply by clicking the link. So, get it while it's there. So without further ado, let's let's look at how to make automation clip for third party plugins. So, um, Alright, first we want to have a third party plugin. So um, let's go to the channel rack. There it is, the channel rack. And let's add a third party plugin. So a third party plugin, for those of you who don't know, is a plugin that um, is not included in FL Studio, it's from an external source. So, for example, when we go to Add, and here we see all the plugins. Like when when you get Apple Studio, the Three X Ask. Uh, hold on, I don't. Let's just continue. Three um, X Ask is included in Apple Studio. It's part of Apple Studio, so it's not a third-party plugin, but it's like a stock plugin, an Apple Studio stock plugin. So a third-party plugin is, is anything else than the stock plugin. So, for example, Silent One is a very familiar plugin, a very familiar third-party plugin. So let's just use that one to, to show how to make automation. Clips. So let's use Silent One. It takes a while to load because it's a pretty slow old laptop, but it will work. It will work. There we go. There it is, alright. So for the sake of this example start with a we start with a, um, a blank sheet, a clean sheet. Okay, just ignore this thing below because I have like a yellow pointer focus thingy and it starts to ask for a registration. So it needs to have a serial or something. Anyways, so we have like a a sound clean sound um, and let's just let's just tweak the sound a little bit so we have an idea about how the automation clips work so let's let's give it a filter for example let's just give it a low pass filter give it a little bit of drive boost the volume a little bit so, so let's add a little bit of cutoff envelope so open this a little bit I'm not going to explain what I'm doing because that's not the point. The point will be the automation clip. Um, let's see, turn it down now. Let me draw some notes so I don't have to click everything again. Let's just do it quickly like this. Thank you. 
Alright, let's say we have made this sound. We actually did, so we made this sound. And it sounds cool, like with the cutoff exactly on that spot. So now I want to make an automation clip for it. So how do we do that? How do we make an automation clip for this for this button? So usually in Apple Studio Stock plugins, you can just easily say like right click on the button, and then we usually get like an option to create an automation clip, but not for third-party plugins. For third-party plugins, we have to use a different approach. And the approach I like to use is like first click the button, just left click the button, or change it a little bit, but put it in the position you want it to be. Once you've done that, go to tools in the menu, like up here, tools. Then you go to macros, no, my bad. Then you go to last tweak, because it's a last tweak parameter, like the cutoff parameter. And then we can say, create automation clip. So you have to touch the button first before you can create the automation clip. So what it does is you click it, create automation clip. You can already see here like that something's appearing here. But when we go to the playlist, um, like there, we see the automation clip there. But what I first want to do is like um, I want to add pattern one. It should work now. There, there it is. So, hold on. Let me first make a little loop there, so it actually makes some sense. Okay. Let's stretch it a little. So what, what you already can see. Let me zoom in. What you already can see is um, the automation clip we just created starts at the exact point. 35%, you can look up here for the percentage when I, when I touch it, see, 35%, that's exactly the percentage um, we saw on silent one. So that means that when, when we keep this thingy at 35%, the sound should remain the same. Oh, hold on, song mode, you have to go to song mode, play it. As you can hear, remains exactly the same. So this is a little trick that's very handy because normally when you create an automation clip it just starts here or, or it starts at the top. But what happens when it starts at the bottom or starts at the top it just resets the control you want to automate. So it resets the, the knob basically to, to a level you don't want it to be or you don't want it to start out with. So for example, maybe it starts here, then it sounds like this. That's not the sound we created, that's not what we want, that's not what we want to start with. So, I wanted to start it at 35%, because that's what, that's what, what it sounds was the way I want it to be. Okay, this, this thing needs to go away, yeah. So from here, from the 35% line, we can make our automation. So maybe we want it to go up here, and then we want it to go down again. So we start from 35%, you know, where, where the sound sounds good, what, what the starting sound is, and from there on, we want to make the tweak. So I want to start 35%, and then let, let's just play this. <laughs> So this is just an example, but it immediately shows that um, that this this simple little tool allows you to make the automation clips exactly as you want to. It shows exactly the right location, not the location, but like the, the spot of the parameter, because the parameter, you know, it is at 35%. It has to be here because that's our sound. Anyways, I think you get the point. Um, just whatever parameter you want to automate, 
you want, an autom want to make an automation clip for. In this case, we just use the cutter button. Just select the button, move it a little bit, but put it on the position you want it to be. And then go to Tools. Then click Last Tweak. And then click uh, Create Automation Clip. The automation clip then appears on the playlist where you can control the where you can control the automation clip to make effects, to make movements, to you know create whatever you want to create. That's what it's for. So um, that's basically it. So if you if you found this video helpful, um, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions. Just leave down a comment below or when I have time, when I'm available, I will, I will get back to you, alright? So also don't forget to get your free sample pack, it's down below if you have it already. And you know, I'll see you in the, in the next video. Bye bye.